Hello everyone, Sienter here, also known as Ben, because I'm again, once again, joined by my sister Jennifer. Hello. And uh, we became an adult and started going to the all around, we're in, in the ice cavern now, um, doing ice cavern things. When you said we became an adult, it sounded like you met us in real life, rather than Link. Mm. Like, we grew up and became adults since I had to play this game. <laughs> it was a little confusing at first for me. I see. This is where you want the iron boots, this is so where you don't you want... slip and slide. I don't know that they affect that. This is where you oh, get the iron boots. They're just for sinking, not for, like... Traction? I mean, they help with wind. Uh-oh. I did not realize I'd been iced. Yep. Friggin' stop. Stop. Stop floor spinning thing. You need a block to put in its way, huh? There you are. What are these things called again? Blizzard? Freezards. Freezard. Watch out for his freezing breath. It's destroy it completely before it revives. Oh. Is that what happened to this one? No. I... You just couldn't find it? It's very clear. I feel like this one's more see-through than the other ones were. Is it just me? That was a little bit. It felt extremely uh, see-through. This way. I'll take your word on that one. I'm not sure where you came from and where you're going. Now I'm thinking of Cotton Eye Joe. Oh no. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Also, uh, there are icicles outside. So seeing the icicles that make a scratching noise and then fall on you <laughs> is disquieting. <laughs> I remembered. I was, I was telling my sister earlier that um, having the up and down reversed is an awful lot like if you have a car and the gas and brake pedals were swapped in position. <laughs> where it's just like, you can, if you're consciously thinking about it, you can work with it, but it makes your instincts of what things to push win wrong. Mm -hmm. I think it's a terrifying analogy. The consequences feel much higher if you're getting it wrong. It's true. They are, they are pretty bad uh, in that sort of context. Um, I want to use how, my fairies. How many feet do you use when you drive? I mostly just one, but sometimes I will break out a second if I'm like on a hill and I want to. I use two feet when I drive. You you have a uh, brake foot and a gas foot. Exactly. Dad does that as well. I depends upon his vehicle. No, because I talked about it. Because no, no, sometimes he has a clutch foot. Oh well, yeah. Sometimes he has three pedals to do. Would that what you were clearly not short enough for that <laughs> it went through your head you are decapitated now i am decapitated hmm. so you're using both fairies i want two bottles open for fire and you want to keep the milk the milk has two uses that's true fairies are easy to get okay that's true as well you don't have to pay money for them i mean you don't have to pay money for milk either i guess you can fetch a cow can't you yeah wow that was really slurred i guess you can just find a cow <laughs> But yeah, uh, and I, I don't know that dad taught me to drive that way. I think we just both had the same instinct of wanting to be able to, like, have a faster response time with braking and things mm, like that. Yeah, that could be. Um, and I'm right now remembering last episode that you claimed that keys are the default enemy. Yes. So seeing the... Uh, the key sink attacking you there. I mean, think about that. This blue fire, it doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something? If it's not natural, it's artificial. Who created it? It looks like uh, they took the same sprite that they used for the fairy and just recolored it. I, I don't know. That's oh, a really yeah. good question. The Poe was really similar like that, too. When you can, you can buy a Poe in some of those shops. Yeah. And I feel like it looked like a pink or purplish fairy. Um, there are variations on keys, though, so maybe yes. they aren't. I guess the keys plus variations are the default. Is what you're going for? Uh, I don't know. They show up all over the place. Yeah. Like, there's not another enemy that's as prolific in this game. Yeah, of like any dungeon. Yeah, we're it's just, not. We're just rehashing things from last episode now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Like a link to the past has soldiers that show up kind of in various places in the overworld. Mm -hmm. Things. I don't know. Like. To some extent, it, when you're making a game, you want to vary up what your enemies are and where they show up, so that way not yeah. everywhere feels the same. Yeah, absolutely. So they're probably the best option for the one that appears in 
as many different applications. Yeah, it's a straightforward design that, like, there's not a whole lot of reason. And I just realized that I was mentally putting blue fire in the same category as hot spring water of where it will wear off <laughs> after time. Thankfully and why not. are you grabbing both of them? You're going to have it run out of time. And I realized that I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I'm glad that the blue fire doesn't lose its potency after a certain amount of time. Me too. It costs 300 rupees. Oof. Yeah, very glad. Oh, yeah. I guess there is a hint of red here, huh? Yeah. Yay, it melted. Was that worth it? Was getting that heart worth it? I mean, I wanted to come over here to melt this one. Okay. One of these sides has the compass and, like, I think a heart piece? And yeah. another blue fire thing, and the other one's the puzzle that you use for the exit. The fact that I'm doing Ice Cavern kind of, like, first... Okay, this is the way I wanted to go. Cool beans. The, the fact that I went this way first is... Ice That's a... mm, it's part of the spirit temple. So not really. Okay. Ooh, this is a. Th they literally put the. I know. Blue fire in this room. That is not a difficult. No, it's not. I mean, I guess if you f were didn't yet know that's what the blue fire did. I almost used a C stick to try to move the camera. That would be nice. It would be nice if I could do that. I agree. Yay! The Ooh. N64 was a nice step up in terms of things that I could do. But uh, it was also, this is very important, it did not have a very good controller design. Mm -hmm. Right now, talking about cameras and the N64, I'm just thinking, wow, this is a great camera angle, for example. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking about I think uh, this Sup is the compass. Super Mario 64, where yeah. the camera operator is a character like how meta is that like it is true did mario hire this guy to follow him around taking video of him like I forget the explanation like has for why he's following you is there one but i just remember because after the like the very opening scene of it is like seeing him and then settling into his camera angle so then you kind of forget the fact that yeah. it's an actual character following him around but then you go into a room where there's this giant mirror like yeah, there isn't yeah, yeah. a dance hall you know, for practicing where you've got the entire wall as a mirror and you see Lukatu or whatever his name is, the the guy that's on the Lakitu, but yes. Lakitu. Um, um, yeah. Uh you see him in the mirror and it just is so like I completely forgot. There's someone following Mario around. And technically this is a first person game, as it were, but the first person is like the camera <laughs> The cameraman. The cameraman. <laughs> first person game where the first person is because it's the cameraman. The cameraman can. Sorry, that was really bad. You're gonna lose. I, I was gonna say you're gonna lose that rupee, but it doesn't matter because you don't need it anyway. I do not. But I'm just obsessive about. I you mean, can't leave things lying. I know what you mean. Yay, more flotulas. Do you think you have 30 now? So you can get whatever it was at 30? No. And the giant's wallet. Yeah. That would actually be nice to get at some point. That would be nice, though. yes. There's all sorts of things you can do to avoid pushing this block around. We are not doing those. I'm so bad spatially. I mentioned left and right is hard for me. Oops. Ah, uh, you fell off. Um, but like all sorts of spatial things are hard. So these kinds of puzzles where you have to move the slide the block around on the icy surface to get it in the correct position are very challenging for me because they have that kind of spatial sense. Mm -hmm. But you've always been pretty good at these kinds of things, I feel like. Yeah. I remember various games where there's like sliding around on ice things where this you have should be certain angles super and easy stuff. To do, right? Yes. Oh, that wow. Is super easy to That's do. That's cool. That it, is no effort. It saves you having to. Uh, it saves you a blue fire. You exactly, yeah. get more blue fire somewhere. Let's reset this block. Imagine if they didn't have the reset option. How awful would this be if you got into a bad position? I mean, it would be very impossible slash annoying. Yes. There is a way that you can kind of like glitch it out to like follow up, but that might be a kid link only thing. Hmm. Where you can like hold on. To, let's not fall off the edge here. Like, where you can kind of hold on to the block. My recollection of the 
I don't remember what they're called. The ones that have the boots that have wings on them. The hover boots. Hover boots. Is that they make your traction weird? Would it they make, are. Would it make this worse? Uh, it makes it better because you can like climb on this and hover boot over to the. No, 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 not this. Was, I meant the ground. I don't know in that front. It it does make this room easier to do though. Yeah, I mean that part I make. I get it, that part. I think there's some Song of Time blocks that you can use to get those red rupees. The cool thing about Song of Time blocks is they actually travel through time, like, properly. They're not all properly implemented, but the idea is that they, they travel through They're time. They're either in the past or in the future. Yeah. Not, so that, you you ever the come, of time, not that you ever come here in the past. Or, yeah, that's the thing, is it. there's just not a whole lot of spots where you actually will have that come into play. Yeah, maybe the, four, the, uh, the, the Spirit Temple or something. Do they have that in the Spirit Temple? Technically, there's some spots. I might need to actually think about how to do this puzzle. Okay. Do you want an overhead view? I got it. All right. I would be lost, so I'm glad you know what you're doing. She's something excited oh. about stuff, so that's probably where you're talking about those blocks. Um, she being navvy, if that was You know what? Fair. I'm going to grab another thing of blue fire while I'm over here. That's your milk. I know. Oh, <gasps> you're gonna sacrifice your milk. It's seven years old. Ugh. <laughs> that. Why are you drinking it? Why are you throwing it on? <laughs> you should have turned it into cheese before you did this, and then it aged for seven Talon years. Talon gave it to me. Uh, I'm distressed right now. <laughs> Sometimes curdled, I say curdled I milk. I say the truth, and then you don't want to think about it. Curdled milk. This is nasty. <laughs> I think this should be good. All right. I don't know where you're trying to go, so I can't answer this for you. Uh, is that good? Where are you trying to go? Do I want to be on this side? Do I want to be... Ah, this is probably good enough. Ooh, he did it. Good enough. Yay. Ow. I heard it, Scritch. You know, I just realized the sound effect that those freeze art or whatever they're called guys make reminds me of the the statues that start running at you because they're angry. Oh, the Armos. Armos, that's the word for them. They remind me of Armos and the noises they make. I wonder if they're related sound effects. It's interesting that they have these here, and they also have them in the forest temple. Yeah, this is a white wolf host, though. Yeah. Hard boss. <laughs> All right. Is this going to be... Iron no. boots. Iron boots. Okay. And then, and then the serenade of water. Okay. There are two checks here, because my brain is, is randomizer language. Mm -hmm. So heavy you can't run, so heavy you can't float. It's a really cool chamber. Yeah, it's got some nice. It's like weird mystical walls. chamber. We meet again, Link. I just followed in your wake and didn't have to deal with any bad guys. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. Surely two exceptions. Two. No. Three? Four? Well, there's the King Zora, the 16th, and there's Princess Ruto. And then there's a shopkeeper. Okay, he's around too, huh? I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the water temple. On land. Well, I'd be a little nervous about water if I were her. This ice... No, literally, it's blocked by ice. She'd have to... She couldn't take the shortcut to Lake Hylia. Oh, She'd have to oh, I see what you're walk down Zora's River... Or she could swim, well, down, she Zora's could swim down Zora's River. I thought you were saying she wasn't swimming in Zora's River. But yeah, she couldn't go through that part. The shortcut, yeah. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. Always winter and never Christmas. I was going to say, give it to a Pokemon. Boost their ice damage by 20%. Never melt ice. It's our a whole mind, item. Our minds went to different places. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, they really do emphasize him being courageous for the yeah. Triforce. I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes, people move, 
Like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. The thing that's really cool about these warp songs is they break the pattern of two triplets. Oh, uh, yeah. Good point. A lot of the other songs are triplets. Yeah, like the the top row, the, the, the kid songs, as we call them. Mm -hmm. um, which is not accurate because you get the Song of Storms as an adult, but you use it as a kid um, yeah. a bunch. But mm -hmm. it, those songs are all like three note. Repeated twice. Yeah. The serenade of water. But the warp songs are all like their own things. Link, I'll see you again. Now, I have a recollection of a cut scene where you see all of the Zoras frozen. Is that a real thing or did I make that up in my head? I believe that's Twilight Princess. Huh. I could have sworn it was in this game. That like... They're all under the ice, and there's a room where you go into where you see the, all of them frozen. How long do you have until you drown? Uh, it's based on your hearts. Oh, okay. I know I would like to push the start menu button and take off the iron boots now. Should we test to see if it makes you still slippery on the ice? Or if it helps you to not slip? I'm curious about this now. Yeah, it, it seems to be making me You're not pretty slide. slow, but you're not sliding. Yeah, I have more control, but right. at the cost of no movement speed. Yeah. So this is something where they made it these items. So the, the randomizer sticks the ocarina down on the D-pad, and then the boots on, like, left and right on the D-pad. Mm -hmm. The um, remake, the 3DS remake, uh, makes them items that you equip. But you also have four equip slots instead of three. Mm-hmm. It's kind of fun having a menu that's for your clothing. I like it from a design feel standpoint, but from a actual play mechanic standpoint, it is kind of terrible. It does mean you have a lot of in the water temple going back and forth. Yeah, so I have like a minute here. Okay. Does it take your? You said it's based on your hearts. Does it take hearts away, but or not? Um. Or is it just longer if you have more hearts? The more filled hearts you have, the longer it lasts. Okay. So if you if you have like three like filled hearts like it, I could have nine I could have all 20 hearts but if I have only one heart left it'll about last like six seconds or something now if you get damaged while you're underwater does that mean that it you... doesn't mess with the timer okay it's just like whatever it was it's, it's just where it starts is based upon okay yeah I think about things like that corner cases or whatever yeah you'd be good at QA so you said I am many times if you drown because you don't have enough time to get to the water, that'd be so <laughs> ironic. Yeah. Um, once you get silver gauntlets, you can lift up the rock in the middle there. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and there's the a... Green, or the bluish one. Yeah, the silver rock. Yeah. And you can get to a sculpture that way. Ah. And that's a completely different angle than we normally see. It. Yeah, we don't really go over there. Yeah. That's interesting. You're going to save the king now? I am. So there's no Zoras visible anywhere, huh? You don't like go in Zora's Domain and see frozen Zoras or something? No. Huh. Twilight Princess, it must be then. I, that's, either that or else you're dreaming. Well, I feel like I remember this. So, it was very, like, surprised. Look at all the Zoras. Like, you remember where they are? We'll take a look down the ice. Blah, blah, blah. There's all these Zoras. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the thing that happens in Twilight Princess. Interesting. I didn't realize they were frozen. And then you have to get Midna to transport a flaming rock from yeah, Death Mountain I and drop part. it into I remember it. that. Hmm. I mean, we'll see when we when we eventually get to Twilight Princess someday. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. I would replace hard with impossible. I would say non sequitur. <laughs> Anyways, going somewhere doesn't seem like it. As an, now you can see where it's going. Yeah. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. Wow, that's hard to read the word tunic. 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, I know what it says because of the contacts and all that, but wow, I don't know if it is for we, you guys. We're but... we're capturing this on a device of limited capability. With this, you won't choke underwater. But you know, it makes it possible for us to capture it at all. So, yep. I'm happy to do so. Yay! No drowning. Now I have all of the tunics. All you're missing now is the big one, sword and the mirror shield, right? On your clothing yes. menu. Yes, on that menu, yes. Uh, and hover boots. Oh, yes, hover boots. I forgot hover boots. We were just talking about them, too. I know. So here's the shopkeeper he said is still in existence. Huh? Yeah. Maybe when Sheik was saying that they're all behind this ice, she was including the red ice, because they both seem like they are behind red ice here. That's true. So maybe Root is the only one who doesn't have any sort of ice. This is super extra. But As in unnecessary? Yes. Welcome! Wow, so this guy is ob what, oblivious to the fact that everyone else is frozen and he was trapped in his shop and all of that? Or what? Well, he tells you how to get bigger wallets. That's good of him. But I'm still confused by the fact that he's acting like, this is just a normal shopping day for me. Frozen? Everyone is vanished in ice. Oh, what are you talking Frozen about? Frozen today. Exactly. Uh, hmm. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no way of like seeing Frozen Zora. Now, weren't those ice. rocks underwater before? And now they're on top of it? Yes, they are. Don't worry about it. They were it, partially underwater. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any Zora, so I, I must have been... I'm guessing it was, as you say, in Twilight Princess. Wow, there's one thing I remember from that game. And I attribute it to a different game. <laughs> uh, for some reason, both of us have so many problems remembering what happens in Twilight Princess. We even have a summary that we wrote down. Yes. At one point. At one point, we, we, we played it. We forgot everything about it. We played it again. Forgot everything. Played it while writing a summary of what happened. And then forget everything that happened. And we have anyway. to keep revisiting that summary to remember what happened. Then. See, where am I trying to go now? I'm trying to go to the Lost Woods so I can hand in Kojiro. Okay. I want to do the trade quest for the All right. big Goron sword. Yep, there's the cop crying. That's not quite where I meant to go, but that's okay. Ooh, uh, shortcut to Kokiri Forest. Yes, by the way, Kokiri Forest, if you had forgotten, is infested with monsters. Oh, I had forgotten that. I completely had forgotten. I remember that now you say it. So there's some Deku shrubs. Scrubs. They're, they're, scrub they're, they're scrubs, yeah, not Yeah, they're shrubs. mad scrubs. Yes. Which means they're autumnal colors. And they're cute. Yeah, and then there's some of these. I like them. Deku Babas. Big Deku Baba, specifically. Ooh, that one is anyway. Um, hit it when it lunges at you, and it will stand upright. Cut it quickly to get a Deku stick. Does it remind you of a piranha flower? Uh, but if you kill it, otherwise you get 15 Deku Nuts. Wow. Can you pick them up, though? No. <laughs> it drops 15 Deku Nuts. Oh, you managed to get them. How many Deku Nuts can you hold? I believe 20. 20, okay. So you're probably full up now. I am yep. full. I should go back towards Sacred Forest Meadow. There's a... The scrub's just wandering around. <laughs> okay. That's so cute. There's a uh, Deku merchant you can go to who sells you a nut upgrade. I thought you did something like that. I got a stick upgrade. Oh, okay. I There's remember one of There's also a Song of Storms grotto right here, but I do oh. not remember what's in it. Mm -hmm. Probably just money, though. There he is. Hmm? No response. He's sleeping. He looks deathly ill or something. He does. Like you can see his ribs. And his eyes are really freaky. Kojiro? Why? Normally only a nice guy like me can tame you. Well, you did. That's why he's growing. Which means... You... You must be a nice guy. Must be. You must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. This is before Nice Guy got a different... Yeah. Deliver this stuff to the old hag. Well, th that's a nice way of phrasing her. The old hag in the potion shop in Kakriko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. This is kind of a sad 
trade quest story because like a lot of these are pretty sad you know he doesn't like survive <laughs> all right so you said the transport trans uh the warp songs take yeah. time off what They're, about like, set it to a minute or something but not when you do the uh no world warps do not world warps don't okay interesting i guess it must be a different like teleportation mechanic as it were um, that affects the ingredients differently. Yeah, it seems to be the best explanation. Yep, yep. Though, frankly, this was a better way to go anyway, even if you were teleporting, because you're closer to yeah. Kakrika Village. Like, you could make an argument for Bolero of Fire. Bolero of Fire. Yeah, Bolero you taught me fire. that. You That's traumatized true. me by telling me I'd be pronouncing it wrong my entire life, and now you're trying to pronounce it the way I used to. Or still do, actually. The Bolero of Fire can Bolero take you there, but... Bolero, bolero, bolero. <laughs> uh, but, you know, this is not a super strict time limit. I wonder how much it actually sounds like a bolero. Because it's a kind of dance or something, I think. I don't know. So I don't know if it has the right beat Link needs to new it. legs now, though. Yeah, I think your knees would be shattered from that or something. Pretty badly. He didn't seem very pleased, but he kept on trucking. Yep. All right, let's find the magic hags potion shop, but it's the wrong hag, <laughs> right? Is this gonna oh, be faster than just entering it? No, I mean, it may be if it had worked the first time. Mm, no, but this seems pretty straightforward. All right, does she have a purple roof? Maybe? The answer is probably no, but for some reason I feel like her roof should be purple. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> Jinx. That bum! He had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now! Yes, please. Okay. I like how the sound of the fire went out when the light died. Yep. If you see that fool, give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I've ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. It's like, why did you bother to mention that one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I want to know, like, he, he, we make this medicine for him and then he dies and before we can get it to him. So it's kind of, you know, yeah. depressing or something. But we like, received an odd potion. Yeah, what can you... Is there anything you would be able to do with this besides give it to the Kokiri girl? Like, is there actually, like, uh, someone... Like, if you imbibed this yourself, would it heal you or something like that, you know? Yeah, I mean, you can't, but it would be interesting to know. Yeah, I, I'm just curious. You don't know what's know. going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. Mm -hmm. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Like, seriously, I wonder the backstory about these people. Like, is this his mother or... What? Sure. Ah, oh, it's blue potion. Yep. Does anyone else sell blue potions in this game? Nope. Oh, that makes sense for why you'd call it ultimate potion then. Yep. Absolutely. All right, cool. Um, this does not have a time limit, so. Yes, that's nice. You take your time and let him die in the woods. <laughs> if only getting there sooner would mean he wouldn't die, but no, it doesn't work like that. Is it just faster to play minuet? Probably. Well, I would expect so at this rate. I mean, you're not going downhill. You have to climb up, so you can't jump from a high distance. Uh... Yep. Good job. Had to think. Oh, I don't blame you for that one. <laughs> that was probably horribly out of tune. Oh, you know what else I can do? The forest temple? I mean, we'll we'll get there. Um, See if the moblin will spear you this time. Uh, I'd rather it spare me. Oh, he's looking your direction this time. Last time he was not looking at you. I did not know this guy could turn around. Yeah. Maybe if you teleport, so you start there, he does. Maybe. So what else can you do here, get fairies? There's a fairy fountain in the middle of this, yeah. yeah. Ha. I'm not sure if that helped, but I guess you didn't walk. You 
You still had to climb the ladder, but you didn't have to walk. It's true. Great. More fairies. Hopefully they didn't all heal you. Having more than one fairy heal you seems a little redundant. It's a little bit, yeah. Okay, um... All oh, right, I want to go talk to that dude too. Okay, yeah, we can do that because that should be. Hang on, I need bombs. Should I know who that dude is? Nope. Okay, it'll be a mystery. Hopefully, one soon solved. It's a secret to everybody. Except for you, I hope. Yeah, that is true. I know what I'm thinking. That's good. It's good to know what you're thinking. It is, isn't it? It's helpful. Did I do this? I don't think you had bombs last time you were really properly here. I mean, I did, but... I said properly. Ooh, this is an interesting looking room. It's very like artificial, like it's not like a forest. I mean, there's got tiles on the floor, and these like weird walls. It doesn't look like it's a hole in the ground, is what I mean. Yeah. It was kind of weird to see it here in the middle of the woods. It's a very weird... We got them both. I did. That was a really good deck of nut. Yeah, it was. They can sometimes drop deck of nuts too for some reason. Huh. They live in the forest. So maybe that's why. It's a small chest. It is. I think it's cute how he kicks the small chest to open them. Nice. Rupees. Not bad. You actually get to use all of it too instead of having you know, I know, only right? 20 rupees that can fit in your wallet. Okay, so I th think it's this one. That thing we talked about earlier of the idea of a more realistic wallet where it's the number of mm, rupee mm -hmm. pieces and not actual rupees. I was just thinking of all of the dynamics that would be created by being like, I don't want to pick up the one rupee because I want to save my space in case I find yeah, bigger I rupee enable things. Yeah, I you to pick up more deck of nuts. Ah, nice. Yes. Um, that would be so complicated of... I can now carry 30 nuts. Of being like, I'm not going to pick up this rupee that, that showed up. That guy doesn't have anything useful, though. I'm not going to pick up those three rupees because they're green rupees. I want to save my number of rupee space for yeah. bigger denominations or whatever. <laughs> That'd be such a mess. Okay, let's do this one. I love how the map is nothing. That's fine. I actually want to uh, see what's in this storm grotto. Because I'm trying to remember how to do it on the friggin' stick. <laughs> that also made a fairy spawn. Oh, yeah. Oh, probably because of the... From the Gossip Stone, mm -hmm. from playing Song of Storms, yeah. Ooh, hornet's nests. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I feel like a lot of them probably just have red rupees in them. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of grottos just lying around. All right, so you're gonna find Grog or talk to that guy. Uh, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Well, I mean, now. Grog's not there anymore, I know. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. That gives a new spin onto Lost Woods. It's like yeah. the woods of the lost instead of the woods that are lost. Ooh, creepy. Yeah, this is super creepy. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. We just said everybody Stalfos, and she's introducing everybody to Stalfos. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, Stalfos. Stalfos, everybody. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. Stalfos, everybody. So he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. <laughs> that medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. The poacher's saw. Yeah. So what's he poaching? Oh, he's a young punk guy. Yep. Interesting description. Must have left us behind. What's he poaching, I wonder? <laughs> Are you going to be 
too. <laughs> She's not creepy at all. Not in the slightest. Nope, not at all unsettling. Is she the girl that we see in the Kokiri Forest just hanging out in other parts of the game? I don't know. I think I've seen her haircut, so. Like, we've definitely seen ones who look, Ones who look like her. Uh -huh. But I don't know specifically if that's her. You never answered me when I asked you about Deku, Babas, and Piranha Flowers. They are very similar, aren't they? They have a similar concept. Yeah. They don't sleep, though. Don't Piranha Flowers, like, snore or something? Yes. In some games, they do. Mm -hmm. In other games, they pop out of pipes. And mm -hmm. in other games, they beat you up with a pot. Oh, dear. That the is Smash Brothers Ultimate, where they are a DLC, like the first DLC character. How did the, they get there? They, I don't know. They beat you up with the pot that they are in? Yes. While they're still in it? Yes. So are they sitting on the flower and waving their stem in the air? Don't worry about it too much. It's a very weird... Wow. This is a great... I have high-centered Epona. <laughs> This is a much faster than walking, man. I approve. Maybe get off, play the song somewhere else. If you got on the path, there are no sophos, but also as an adult, there are no sophos, right? Or stall children, I guess. There are no stall children as an adult. Yeah. See, that's one improvement that Ganondorf has made, is he got rid of all the stall children. Yep. You can try playing the song again now. I think you're safe from tree roots. And that's one of the big Poe's. So is the Poe supposed to be uh, the ghost of someone who died in the field, do you think? Maybe a refugee from Castletown? That could be. We're going to back walk. You don't want to try playing the song again to get Epona back, huh? I'm going to after I get the heart piece. Ah. Is it in a grotto? Yes. They're all in grottos. This is an interesting way to travel. Because we're seeing everything behind us. Wow, when we, you switched around and it was still behind you, that was the interesting bit. <laughs> Ooh, is this how you get to uh, Garuda Canyon? No, this is how you get to Lake Hylia. Oh, okay. So, See, so as a child, the only way to get to Lake Hylia is... Or is it not locked? There's a ladder on a ledge to the side. Oh, okay. So this is the only way to get there by taking the shortcut. Um... There is a ladder, okay. All right, you win! Piece of heart. It sells you a piece of heart for 10 rupees. Wow, that's really cheap. Yes, it's a very good deal. Can I buy a few more of those? Or is your inventory limited? Unfortunately, the inventory is limited. Oh, that's too bad. I think there's another nearby grotto that I should visit. You'd think with limited inventory, it would be of higher price. Uh, so if you come over here... I won't object to the good deal, then. There is a ladder. Oh, okay. That leads up. So you can... So you can take that around. Okay. Actually, is I this should... this fence is here then as a child as well? Correct. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was an innovation of Ganondorf's or something. I'm gonna go visit the pier. Ah, I saw empty space. Yeah. On the other side of that wall. Something that I really this is not the best version of Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Something that I thought was really really neat in. Uh, I really appreciated and enjoyed in Breath of the Wild is the fact that there are no like walls mm -hmm, and like mm -hmm. you can if there are you can just climb up them like we noticed that really in Kakrika Village in that game that yeah. like there's the wall you just climb up the wall and there's a mountain on the top that you can hang out on you know so we thought that was really really cool because there's definitely like the the artificiality of the confining walls in this game kind of hurting you in in a unrealistic way Ooh, like the first person to recognize you as an adult. <laughs> Everyone else is like, you look a lot like that kid I knew, but you're clearly a different person. And he's finally like, you are the same person. Yep. Wow, you grew, dude. Well, here's your song. What? No, I never forget. You, you, you're the one who forgot, aren't you? If you have an ocarina, play that song, baby. See, he said baby. Yeah. That's what I was talking about earlier in a potentially a different uh, episode. Worth using the word baby. Ha, see, I told you. Okay, I went you too it. fast and it oh, skipped okay. notes. I'll accept that. I still would make it like the Goran Lullaby or something. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's the tune you rock. I'm blown away. Yes. There it is. I'm doing the rock hands. Yeah. My pinky. Rock hands are made of stone now. 
Yes. Oh, no, no, I don't, didn't forget the song. I didn't forget anything. But I just felt like rewarding you, baby. I have a good idea. My buddy Pierre is wandering around, so play that tune when you want to call him. I'll tell him to help you if he's nearby, and here's that song, baby. I didn't realize it wasn't the same scarecrow. It's a Pierre it scarecrow. It is, in fact, two different scarecrows. What is this scarecrow's name? I do not know. I'll call him Andre. Sure, why not? It's also French, like Pierre. Um, let's see if I can do... There's some wonky stuff you can do in here. This is the same song as the potion shop, isn't it? It is. Wow, this is really deep. It is. If you have the gold scale, you can uh, get all the way to the bottom. Also, a shark. Yep. Just, you know, chilling in a cage. Mm hmm. There's a Scotola down here. Oh, they um, are aquatic now? They can breathe underwater? Let's see if I do this correctly. Did you? Cool. Yeah, I did. So he wants you to touch the bottom, not wearing the iron boots. Oh, okay. So you have to trick him into thinking you did that, huh? Yes. You have to do the trigger. And you can do that by taking them off with the hook shot there. Oh, okay. Interesting. How many sculptures do you have, by, by the way? Um. Survey says 27. Ooh, you're getting close. I don't care about the 20 point Stone of Agony. That's the rumble pack, right? Yes. It, it makes your rumble pack rumble when you're near a grotto. Oh, okay. I'd say it already rumbles. We've noticed. <laughs> yeah. Like when you ride a Pona. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You touched the bottom just now. Fantastic. I'll give this to you. Does he let you know that he will reward you before you do it? So you I know have no idea how so you're supposed to know So you, you know that. to talk to him afterwards instead of just leaving? Hello there. Oh, so she's... um. Okay, we'll do the whole thing then. Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've met that old lady from the potion shop. She is like a student of mine. Ho, ho, ho. Santa? But that explains why the... Uh, that explains why oh, the, man. That explains why the I music... I don't want his gifts. <laughs> It'll be lake water. That explains why the music is the same in those two places, though. Beyond, like, laziness. Ooh, I forgot that it had the green yep. outline. That's cool. This thing is so short. You need the long shot, is what you're telling me, huh? Uh, I Hi, Pierre. Kind of Can you talk to Pierre? Ow! Gway. Gway, go away. Maybe Gway is short for go away. Aren't they called Gways? I call them ravens yes. or crows. Gway. Gway. He's right before it flies into you. It is too short to attack the play. Haha. -ha. Victory is mine. I, I haven't even used magic, so. You haven't, really. There's not a whole lot of uses for magic until there, you get magic arrows. Yeah. There's there, some, like, I could cast in's fire to what end, like. Mm hmm Well, I mean, the, the main use of Din's fire that I can think of is when you're trying to light all the torches to get into the shadow tunnel. There's two spots where you kind of need it there, yeah. There's the... <gasps> Uh, that only costs half a heart, eh? Um, you know, I'm just gonna walk it. There's the, um... You wanna get a Pona? I'm going to go into a grotto over there. Oh, okay. I don't know. I thought about it. So how do they decide when it's a location that never changes time and when it's a location that does change time? Um, I think the main differentiator is, does anything other than Scatolas change in the area? So if it's if it's going to become, um, like people are inside their houses, yeah, and stuff like that. I don't know why Zora's fountain. Does the map tell me? It's called Zora's fountain. Where Jabu Jabu is? Yeah. What's Zora's fountain? 
Yeah, so I don't know if Zora's Fountain has, um, like, that, that time didn't move there, and I don't know why. Does the Gruta Fortress change between night and day? Uh, the vision range shrinks. Okay. Okay, this is not the grotto I was thinking of. For some reason, I thought these are not the droids you're looking for when you said that. Wow, that was absolutely pathetic. On the other hand, you didn't have to open it, so... Somewhere there is a grotto with a piece of heart and mm. some water that you have to have either iron boots or nine depths uh, diving for. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to get nine depth diving in this playthrough because I don't do, want to do fishing. I was going to say, is that related to fishing? And then it was. It is, in fact, fishing. Okay, well, I need to go over to the Gerudo Valley area. We were just talking about it, too. We were. So I guess you're giving the poacher's saw to the carpenter's son? The next Correct. part. That is, in Hopefully fact she can part. actually move this time, if you can get on her. There yeah, you hopefully I don't high center a pona on a tree root this time. Mm -hmm. That was really funny. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> I haven't either. All right. Gerudo Valley. We haven't been there at all. You didn't go there as a kid. I did not. There's not a whole lot of reason to. There mm -hmm. is some stuff that you can access with the Kuko, but... Uh, mm -hmm. I guess there's a heart piece in a box that you can access with the Kuko. Yeah. I can do some of that stuff later if I feel like it, though. Mm -hmm. When we do Child 2. Yeah. And do, like, Bottom of the Well and can do some other stuff at that time. We don't get the pretty music because it's nighttime. It's true. This part has always, has always been Isn't there terrible. a spider on one of, like, by As a the... kid, yes. Okay, as a kid only. Yay. That's a fun angle I put on that, too. This really has cinematic scenes in it. I've it does. Oh, I love this song. I am a master craftsman. Those Gerudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I want to fix it, but all of my workers are gone. Sounds like you problem. They said working as me? <laughs> no, him problem. Oh, him. Because he's not working on his own? Yes. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Grudos Fortress to become thieves. Hey, you. If you're going to the fortress, would you mind finding out what my workers are doing over there? How would you like this? Hey, that saw. It's mine. You're a poacher? But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh, well. My big Goron tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. But the bridge is broken. How did you get on this side of the bridge anyway? It was before the bridge broke, I assumed. I don't know. Like, I, I assume they came over here and then the, the Gerudo broke the bridge after that. You're coming here is a great timing. Will you give me my saw? Yeah, I'll give you your saw. Good kid, thanks. I'm sorry I can't give you anything that's good in return, but take this anyway. Wait, is that supposed to be his tool? He said he wanted to do He has a strong pants statement. I saw a video actually comparing this guy to Bolson from uh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, I can see that. Hmm. Oh, look at Epona in the background. Yeah. You caught her in mid rearing up. Up rear? Is it the bolero of fire? Yeah, if I can remember how to activate on this thing. I, again, I'm not used to these buttons on the GameCube. I'm used to the 3DS version. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, better change your outfit. Um, that's true, but we've got like a minute. And 16 seconds. Is that also based on how much? Yes, it's the exact same mechanic. Gotcha. A broken brick. So why is it that this bridge you can do the hook shot, but the Gerudo bridge you have to do the hook shot? You can shot. hook shot. The, you can. You, oh. Well, you can't. You, you can oh. long shot. Oh, okay. And do you get the long shot in the Water Temple? Correct. Mm -hmm. After Dark Link. So you don't actually have to have a Pona for that, huh? No. So is a Pona necessary in this no. game? She's not. Interesting. A Pona is very helpful for some of the trading quest yeah. stuff just because she speeds you up, mm -hmm. but... She's necessary in some of the other games, though. Yes. 
Navi is really annoyed with me, by the way. She wants you to go to the forest temple to check on Saria. She does. She's very worried about Saria. She said so. The one time you deigned to listen to her. All right, big one. I want to know about how Gorns work that they can, like, do they just grow bigger and bigger and bigger? And then, or is this like a, a separate, like, species of Goron? I have no idea. My brother opened a new store. It's Medi, Medi, like middle size, I guess. Medi Goron's Blade Store. More like mediocre. <laughs> However, I am better at making blades. That's true. Medi Goron's break after eight hits. Uh oh, that's not very much at all. And they cost two hundred rupees. Hylian carpenters praise me for my skills. I'm not lying. He has weird dialogue. I'll say. How do they choose the letters that are really long? I don't know. That broken knife is surely my work. <laughs> I really want to repair it, but... But because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops. Oh, you can say this part without any issue, huh? There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go to see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. I got the prescription. Yay. Uh, his choice of which words get the elongated letters is a little confusing. Wee! Ooh, you got the roll this time. I did. Nice. Boy, that's crunchy audio. Could you ride a Pona up here? Nope. She can't get to the mountain then, huh? Correct. Because she only gets to places that are like directly connected to, to Hyrule, Hyrule Field. Yes, I believe that was the case. Oh, okay. Ow. Um, and she can't go up the stairs into Kakrika Village, right? Uh, no. no. What kind of horse can't climb stairs? The sensible kind. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, anyway. Yeah. I have ridden a horse downhill once. I do not know how to ride a horse, but it was, like, I think it was at Glacier National Park or something, and they have, like, oh, yeah, where it's be. just horses that follow the leader. So you don't need to know how to, you know, you don't need to know how to they ride a horse. They are well trained. Yes. They are trained to follow the horse that is being ridden by the, uh... Person who knows how to do the thing. Yes. So I was just sitting on the back of a horse. But we went down a hill at one point, and that was rather nerve-wracking. <laughs> Going down a hill on a horse is kind of scary. Yep. It would be. It would be. All right. Nice and speedy. Yep. I'm trying to be efficient with this uh, trade quest on account of wanting to get it done in this episode. Ah. Well, also, you got parts of it that are timed. So. And maybe I can remember to play the right song. I can't imagine Epona... <laughs> on this ledge. <laughs> she wouldn't really get you very far. <laughs> no. I think it was sensible of her not to show up for that, uh, very. that generation. That, that was probably the right call on her part. <laughs> I guess she could have tried jumping around, but... 100% the right call on her part. Yeah. <sighs> I want to see her swimming now. <laughs> Are there some, like, ponies on a, a random island in the East Coast that, like, are wild ponies that like, live on the island? And, like, sometimes swim. I don't know. Could be. I feel like that's a thing. I've heard that moose go diving and get eaten by orca whales. Yeah, I think they like salt or something. Oh, yeah. Moose love salt. Mm -hmm. All right. Looking lively, King Zora. Ooh. This is... Well, hmm. Hmm. I drops. You might say we have them. You might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he can make the drops for you. So the creepy guy has a purpose. It's interesting we have yep. both the old lady in the potion shop. Oh yeah, they both the, show up in this quest. With the music. And the the guy in the laboratory yeah. with the same music. But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? All right. He has to be cold, huh? That's yep. a little bit creepy. At least it's really cold here, so it's been staying 
without any issue here. Yup. Navi, I have bad news. We're not doing that today. Sorry. In this this video. We'll rescue her eventually. We'll worry. we'll do it today on our recording day, but we will not do it on. The... I think. Yeah, this is closer. If you die. There we go. I had to wait for him to like surface enough to be able to dive again. Mm -hmm. I get you. But I'm pretty sure going through the Lost Woods is faster. Yeah, I think. Um, I know this is like southeast, right? Kokiri Forest is southeast. Yeah, I think it's closer than Zora's is... River is. Yeah, and Lake Hylia is southwest. And it's mostly south, but. Probably, but they're they're both kind of in the south. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it there. Because Zora's River would be north of here. I don't think southwest was necessarily a wrong determination. This is probably more like just straight east rather than southeast. Let's see how good my horseback skills are. Well, you're not caught in a tree root, so you already have Not up. yet. <laughs> there are no tree roots right next to you. I do like that they have some variation. Like, this air part of Hyrule Field has trees. And it's yeah. right next to the forest. So that's also appropriate. But like, I like that, that it's not just completely the same. I mean, it is fairly the same, but there is some variation. Like, and you know, when you get close to the can canyon, they've got the uh, yeah the kind of ro red rock of the canyon. There's an area that has pea hats, isn't there? Yes, it's um, over to the e east of here. Okay. Um, so I like that there, and you got the little part that's got the river that's actually going through it. Um, before you're actually in the river proper itself, you know, by kind of way to go to the bridge. So there is some degree of variation. So yeah. I think that's a, a good call. For sure. I appreciate that Hyrule Field is not a monolith. Mm -hmm. It's interesting how big this felt, like, at the time, and how it doesn't feel it that huge It feels fairly anymore. small now, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you've got games like, I mean, Twilight Princess, we said was trying to be a lot bigger, right? And then obviously, like, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. All sorts of things like that. You have one minute, however will you manage? I don't know. I might not be able to get in front of this guy properly. Uh-oh. Yeah. You were right. <laughs> His arms are probably excited. Oh, wow. I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Zora's domain froze over. These eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight, I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. <laughs> He's creepy. I don't want to eat eyeballs. <laughs> Neither do I. Such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. Eh? What? These are for making Big Goron's eye drops? Oh, how disappointing. You should have said so in the first place. You ruined his dinner plans, Ben. How dare you? I know. He's going to have a delicacy of eyeball frog eyeballs. Maybe he can give one eyeball for the prescription and one eyeball for himself. Hmm. Which is a very small meal. But Here it is. Here it is. This medicine doesn't have any preservatives in it, so it won't last long at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young. You can do it. I like his bottle being star-shaped. Yeah. The world's finest eye drops. How often does he get volcanic ash in his eyes that he needs to have a prescription for eye drops? That's a good question. It must happen a lot. And I wonder, because this guy was saying he hasn't seen it since Zora's domain was over. I wonder if he stopped being able to get his eye drops seven years ago. Oops. And has like basically been blind from his eyes ever since. Or if it just like happened, like he said the day before. Yeah, I'm not quite sure on that front. Like what's he been doing since it throws over? Did he have some reserve? I don't know. Some eye drops with preservatives in them? Yeah, some that had preservatives, unlike that guy. I think the fastest route is actually go to go back to Kokiri. I mean, that makes sense to me. Um, And take the warp back to Otherwise you have to take the mountain Goron all the City. way up. Yeah. Because I can go Goron City, Death Mountain Crater to Big Goron. The other option is, you said you think it make, takes you to just a single minute if you uh, teleport. I don't want to risk what teleport No, 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 I, I get you there. Yeah. 
I think the 3DS version might actually warn you against using warp magic for these. Mm -hmm. They're avoiding tree roots. <laughs> She's scared of tree trunks, though. Or hollow tree tunnels. Understandable. Tree tunnels. Haven't we been in a tree tunnel when we went to, uh, like... Yosemite National Park or something? Yeah, Yosemite. Or Redwood or, or something? Or Sequoia National Park or something? Yeah, I'm not super sure We were, sure like, on those eight parks. or something. We were not old people. We don't remember this. I think we might have rented a convertible or something. That sounds plausible. But there is, like, a, a tunnel that's made out of a... Wow, I cannot see anything. I know. I, I'll see if I can brighten the footage for... Or how much of the footage might need to be brightened in as well. For the videos that I'll actually be making when I edit our audio recordings into these. But, um. So is it, like, just before dawn? It must be, like, something. Because very... it's still really dark. I have 199 rupees. Mm hmm Now, these have to be kept cold, right? So we're going to go into a volcano? So we're going to go into a volcano where it's super hot and you have to wear a tunic to avoid burning to death. The fact that this shortcut exists is what makes this make sense. I forgot about this one again, even though you just did a tunic together. <laughs> you didn't know but this But yeah, you'd think way. that this would, like, diminish the amount of time you can keep it. Yeah, it like, doesn't. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's sped up because you're here. Thankfully, it has no impact on it. That's good. Otherwise, that'd be really irritating. It would be. Ooh, I see a piece of heart over there. There's a piece of heart there. There's also a piece of heart in the wall. In the wall? Yeah. I don't think I saw that one. That's because it's in the wall. Mm. I might get it after I uh, get the big one sword. Mm -hmm. How many more steps do you have? Is this the last one? Um, Sort of. Really? You brought the eye drops? That's great! Sorry, I'm doing Tony the Tiger because of the R's. Yeah. I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. Good. We don't get to watch him do it? We have to just listen to it? Just hear it echoing. Wow! Yeah, you should do the vowel there. Wow, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> That's not what I meant. This is stimulating. It's working great. Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent. So I'll give this to you so you don't, won't forget. Are his eyes actually different looking right now? Yeah, he has them open. They were closed before. Well, no, I mean like more like paler or something. I don't than other think so. They're just normal looking now. Okay. After a few days, please return. Wait, just wait patiently. It's made out of stone, because of course the it Bogoron is. Bogoron sword. Claim check. You got a claim check for it. You can't wait for the sword to be completed. It's like three days or something? Yep. You're cheating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So if it's three days, you have to play this six times? Yep. Don't lose track? I mean, it's not a problem. I need to wait for it to actually cycle over. So the sun song, when you're in town, swaps it, right? Yeah. It's just like midnight to... Um, but here it's just like 12 hours later. Here it makes it move faster. Oh. Interesting. Until moves faster until it's that time. Yes. Yeah, I saw the sun zoom yep. through the sky there. Okay, that's fascinating. So it takes a little bit to actually like, catch up. Yeah, so it's not instant. Uh huh. But it also means it doesn't reset your position. Yeah, which is good. That's very good. It's funny seeing it just zoom. It's like a time lapse. Yeah. Yes, Navi. We, we're worried about Saria, like you. I wonder why we called her Saria as kids. Like, I don't think we knew anyone named Mariah or anything like that. I don't know. 
Hey, have I uh, made the time move fast enough for you? Let's take a look. That sword is my finest work. I guess so. Yay! You handed in the claim check and got the big Goron's sword. This blade was forged by a master smith and won't break, unlike the Medi Goron. Yay! And the sun is moving at a normal rate. Now I can big Goron sword it up. Which is a two handed broadsword, I guess, huh? Yep. Also, this is the GameCube version, everyone, if I didn't mention that off the bat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up here for this particular episode. So thank you all very much for watching. Mm -hmm. Until next time, everyone. Take care. Maybe, goodbye. Maybe we'll actually do a dungeon next. Week. <laughs> yeah, that will ever happen. We will, but we're okay. going to go inside and get a heart piece right, first. Bye-bye.